In this video, we will start with division of polynomials. You will find this on page 378 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Polynomials. In ordinary level, we learned that polynomials are algebraic expressions which consist of terms in the form a x to the power n, where n is a non-negative, that means uh, zero or positive, integer, and a is a real number, and it's called the numerical coefficient of the term. Its general form is, okay, so I'm just going to make it a bit bigger, small that. Okay, so it's a to the n, x n plus a, n minus 1, x n minus 1, and then subtract 2, 2, and then until I get 2, 2, 1, 1, a 0, where x is a variable, okay? n is a non-negative integer. a n is called the leading coefficient, okay? But it cannot be 0, otherwise the whole term will disappear. The coefficients a n, a n, the this are constants. And a0 is called the constant term. So if there's only a number, it's the constant term. It's a number. So linear and quadratic expressions are examples of polynomials. Remember that polynomials cannot contain terms involving fractional powers or negative powers of the variable. So it may not be a fraction or it may not be a negative number. For example, uh, if you look here, this will be a negative it, if it goes up and there's the fraction. So this is not a polynomial because the second term involved division by the variable. So if you take it up, it will be a negative index or exponent. And the third term contains an exponent which is not a whole number. The highest power of x, the variable, in the polynomial is called the degree of the polynomial. For example, if, if I have 3, 2, 1, 0, it's a polynomial of the third degree. In this section, we will revise how to use long division to divide a polynomial by another polynomial. We did it in ordinary level, but we're just going to revise it quickly. Right, let's see if this example fits, and I can just see how it fits. Okay, so let's start. Division of polynomials. Division, divide the polynomial by a linear divisor. Okay, so this. Now, can you remember how did we do before I show you the short way? I think maybe I showed you the short way in the next example. But basically, it's always, I take the first term and I divide it by the first term, and I write that there. So first division. Then I multiply and I multiply, and then I subtract, and I write this. Okay, and then basically, I repeat the process. I take this 10x squared, divide x, and I get 10x, and then I multiply, and I multiply. Okay, so if I multiply this one, so let's just see, okay, I was already there. So if I multiply, I'm getting this, and as soon as I subtract, I change the sign. And then I take this one, divide this, and then I get 16. And then I multiply, and I multiply, and I change the signs because I'm going to subtract. And that 35 is then my remainder. Okay. So let's just go through a few basic things in this example. I want to make it a bit bigger. The calculation in example 14 can be written as, okay, so this is the divisor, this is the dividend, this is the quotient, and this is the remainder. So this is the way I can write it. In general, if a polynomial, Px, is divided by another polynomial, dx, okay, the resulting quotient is Qx, and the remainder is Rx. Then the division algorithm for <coughs> Sorry, polynomial stated that. Okay, there's the, divi there's the original one. There is the quotient. Okay, so that's the answer that you got after division. 
There's the divisor, that's the divisor, and there's the remainder. But also, remember, you can also write it like this. Basically, what I do is I divide all the terms by dx. Remember, can I just show you? This is one term. Okay, so it's basically that I'm just going to say, okay, I'm going to divide this term by dx. I divide this term by dx. And I divide this term by dx. Okay, and then this cancel out. Do you see? And then I'm sitting just with the qx there. So sometimes they will write the final answer like this. And I'm going to use this example. They are going to take the polynomial or the dividend. So they are going to write it as, and I'm going to write it here, as, I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. As 2x3 plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 16. Then they write it over the divisor. In this case, it's x minus 2. And then they write the answer. They write the quotient. And that will be 2x squared plus 10x plus 16. And then, and this is actually what I want to show you. Then they will say plus... Storm will be a little bit. They will say plus, and then they take the remainder and they write it also over the divisor. So it's it's a, it's another way of also presenting the final information. And this is this is what I showed you in that example. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do. Let's just move it a little bit. Um, you can do number A, just two. It's just revision, number A, and I think let's give number F. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start, number A. So, I'm going to just do long division in this. I will now show you the other shorter method that we did in ordinary level. So, it's going to be x squared plus 2x minus 3, and it's going to be x plus 2. So I'm going to take this and divide, so I'm getting x. So I multiply, I get x squared. I multiply, I get 2x. I change the signs. So if I change the signs, then this becomes negative, and this also becomes negative. Okay, so what happens? This cancel out, and this cancel out. And I'm just left with negative 3. And it cannot. So then this will be my ans answer. And I will just say remainder and negative 3. Okay. So I can, um, if I'm, um, the question states, find the quotient. So therefore, the quotient uh, in this case is just x and the remainder is negative 3, and that's the final answer. Okay, and now let's look at number F. So if I look at number F, and again I'm going to write it already, I can just make it a bit straight this time. Okay. So let's just write it. So this is going to be 2x4 minus x3 minus 2x squared plus 8x plus 4. And I'm going to divide by 2x plus 3. So if I take this and always start with division and I divide it by this, I get x to the power of 3. After divide, I multiply. And remember, and I want to show it to you in this case, right, that I must multiply it here and I must multiply it here. So basically, I will get in this case 2x to the power of 4 plus 3x x to the power of 3. Okay. Then I draw the line. Then I change the signs. So because I subtract negative, 
negative. Now, if I divide correctly, that will cancel out. And now, it's negative 3 and negative 1, so that will be negative 4, x to the power of 3. Okay, and now, again, I start again. Remember always your three things. I divide, I multiply, and I subtract. That's my th three things. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to say, okay, I take this and I divide it by this. Just get my green again. And this is going to be negative 2x to the power of 2. And then I multiply and I get negative 4x3. Okay, and bring that one down. Okay, and then I multiply and I get negative 6x squared. And then I draw the line. And then I change the signs. This is opposite signs. Positive, positive. And if I do this, this cancel. This is 6, so this is going to be 4x squared. And then I divide, so I'm getting 2x. So I multiply. This is going to be 4x squared. I multiply plus 6x. So plus that 8x. And then I subtract, and I subtract, and I cancel, and 8 minus 6, that is 2x, and, oh, this is nice, 2x divide 2x, that is going to be 1. Okay, so if I multiply then, I'm going to get, this is going to be 2x, and if I multiply, plus 3. And don't forget, that was plus 4. And if I change the signs, that is negative, negative. And then 4 minus 3, what is that going to be? That's going to be 1. So basically the remainder is going to be 1. So therefore, move it up a little bit. Therefore, the quotient... And that will be x to the power 3 minus 2x squared plus 2x plus 1. And the remainder is just going to be that one. And that's the final answer.